All right, I'm back guys. Welcome back. I'm back on the Attack of the B Team creative map and um, I kind of went over the top today. Whoa, I don't know what happened to the flag back there. The Flans mod poles are having a little bit of issue. I couldn't even delete it. I don't know if you guys know how. Um, but nevertheless, uh, today I had a bunch of fun. Well, I've actually worked on this like over the past two days. Um, but what I did today was I wanted to do something with a Flans mod. I know that's a really fun mod in the attack B team and um, so I thought I would do like some sort of a uh, what do you call it a shooting range and it ended up turning into like a ammo shop with the shooting range I thought it was a you know a good touch since usually you can find those together at the same time but um, anyways I had a little bit of fun with this one I, I put a lot of detail in but um, I'm mainly doing these uh, these videos or this series uh, just for inspiration purposes. Um, if you guys haven't seen my last video on this, uh, let me see if I can pull this out. Uh, the last time we did, uh, I believe it was, it was a Tinker's Construct tool shed, uh, which is this one here. If you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll put in the annotation at the end of the video. So don't forget to check that out if you haven't seen it. That was a pretty cool video. Um, great response from you guys. So thank you very much. Um, I'm currently working on a snow house. So stay tuned for that one. And then um, uh, today we did the uh, the shooting range, which is pretty large as you can see. So let's just go ahead and map it out real quick. So we'll just put shooting range. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. And um, I'm pretty much mapping out everything I've done. So this one was a B Dubs Mud Brick House, um, something I just posted on my Twitter. If you don't follow me, you could uh, go to my main channel and um, click on my Twitter uh, icon and uh, follow me. You can see that on there. Uh, this was my Tinker's Co Construct Shed, and then, like I said, our snow house that I'm working on now. And uh, I wanted to show you guys the shooting range, so I'm not gonna hold you guys much longer. Um, I wanted to put some some statues out, make it look like it was a, a training facility, and um, I don't know. I, I I had a lot of fun with this one. There was just so many things that you could do. I've never played around with the flange mod, and um, I guess I just couldn't stop uh, <laughs> playing around with it. But uh, let's go ahead and check it out from the inside. So as you enter. Uh, off the bat, it looks it looks freaking awesome. It looks like a, a an ammo shop or a gun shop, um, and I put a lot of details even into the roof. I put in these beams here that look like uh, air conditioning ducts, and I put some drains here to make it look like uh, the vents for the air ducts. Um, but uh, yeah, so just from a glance, I mean, you can already tell what it is. Some of the things that I did were to use the drying racks. Uh, to hang some of our guns, some of our armor and ammo, and uh, and then I put in these signs. These are called Ardite sign heads, um, and those uh, I just placed those in 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 these slots to make it look like they're you know out of stock. Um, so I don't know, it gives it a nice touch. There's a, there's a bunch more guns that I didn't put in. But I wanted to like make it look like you know they're they're out of stock on some, which is uh, something similar to, that you would see in real life. Um, down here, I wanted to use these glass cases, uh, and all I did here was just put in some some more drying racks behind the counter, and then just hang some stuff so it looks like it's inside our uh, glass case here. Uh, I went ahead and put some backpacks, like camel backpacks or camel colored backpacks. Um, which is a big part of uh, you know any like military related items, um, and then over here I wanted to do like uh, like a spot for our gear, like our boots. Uh, here's our headwear, our headpieces, and then I put in some armor stands that contain you know uh, two different types of uniform, like the Russian uh, uniform and then the U.S. Marines. Um, over here we have the glass area that. Uh, that kind of displays the shooting the shooting range and as you can see some of the targets are do uh, pop up in and out I'll show you how that works uh, but yeah let's head on over there I put in these two doors with uh, some of this uh, factory block 
I think it's called a uh, hazard or caution block. Really cool block. I love that. And as you can see back here, it looks it looks really cool in my opinion. Um, I got these stalls here with uh, some lights. That means you know this one's ready to go. Um, and then you know the green lights to uh, signify that these are are good to go. Um, and then I put in some statues here. This is my friend uh, Angel Chaos. And then uh, that's my statue there. Um, and then as you can see, the floor is littered with uh, with bullets and stuff like that. And the back wall has a bunch of holes in it, which is a cool touch. Up here, uh, I did the same thing with the ducks. I put in some recessed lighting. And then I put in these railings for our targets to uh, make it look like they would move along these railings, uh, which I thought is pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it's something realistic that you would see in a real shooting range. Um, and like I said, I do have some of these targets uh, to pop in and out. I, I had a hard time figuring it out um, because at first, when you place these, they're just flat on the ground. To make them stand up, you have to trigger it with some sort of a redstone signal. And um, all I did here was, let's see if I could. Let me just change this real quick. Quartz. Let me just grab the covers real quick so I could fix it. But let me show you what I have. All I did was put a timer here. Really simple. And then I put a repeater. Um, you could change the delay on it and then that'll just, uh, that'll just leave it. Uh, depending on how much delay you put, it'll uh, stay up longer or stay down longer. Um, but as you can see, these are all just micro box little, uh, little pieces. Uh, just to signify or symbolize, you know, bullets on the floor or holes in the in the walls, and I think it it really uh, gives it that that effect here. Um, uh, also over here, I did use the uh, the bibliocraft desk spruce table, I should say, and um, that way you could actually put your guns down, and then um, you know you could actually. Uh, I don't know, they have just like a function to it, so that's pretty cool. Over here I hung some goggles that people might use to uh, when, they, when they're shooting. Um, <laughs> really cool effect here, it looks like uh, some of the bullets are spraying out of the gun. So I put, I, post, uh, I put some like in the air. So I think that's pretty cool, he's covering his ears. Oh no! <laughs> I'll fix them later. Um, and then I put in some lockers back here in case we want to uh, put any of our stuff away um, but let, let's try this this thing out we have a barrette here um, I have an M16 here and then a desert eagle let me get some ammo um, I believe I have some in here yeah should be good um, sir can I please use the uh, shooting range you have to sign the waiver first all right let's see Waiver, enter at your own risk. Use two hands. Responsible for any damage to yourself and or equipment used. All right, seems simple enough. Am I good to go now, sir? Yes, you are. All righty. So let's go ahead and try out the Desert Eagle. And uh, let's take our aim. Oh, we gotta reload first, right? All right, using two hands. Yeah, of course, uh, you know, the targets don't actually, uh, you know, trigger when you shoot them. That would be pretty cool. But um, I don't think there's a, I don't think that's possible. But, uh, you know, this is not just for, for inspiration. Um, maybe you can uh, build this in your, world, in your multiplayer world. This might be a little cool shop to uh, to do in your multiplayer world, and you could charge people to come use your shooting range to practice on their shooting, or you can even sell them some weapons. So that might be a cool idea for a shop in your multiplayer worlds. Uh, otherwise, this would be cool just for your your, your single player world. Uh, it's a nice training facility and I think it looks cool. Up here I just put some signs to make it look like some rules that you need to follow. 
and then you know maybe the last one might be like uh, I don't know something important um, but anyways I think that's gonna do it I, I uh, that's all I had it took me a, a long time to do all this just just because I didn't have you know I was playing around with different ideas uh, but please do let me know what you guys think uh, in my opinion it's pretty cool I really like it and I hope you guys do too uh, please give me your feedback uh, if you did enjoy, give it a like and subscribe if you guys want to stay tuned for some more. I do plan on making some more uh, Attack of the B-Team videos. Um, so I'll leave you guys on that. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.